way, first round. And here we go for round one of eight. Three minutes per round. Two falls to the side. Jody Saint, of course, is challenging his usual black trucks, yellow stripe on the side, and his name right across the front of his trucks. And both of these men, colossal movies. So fast that neither of the the men will know exactly where the next move is coming from. Without the counter. Remember seeing Johnny Saints at uh, Bolton way back in the late 70s, taking the vacant, that uh, left vacant by the great George Kidd. And of course, Johnny Saint went up to Dundee and was trained by George Kidd for quite a few weeks so that he could win that title, and he got it. Held it all the way through until last year when he lost it at Croydon to this man, Mike Crossjaw. Jordan has always been one of the leading contenders for the British lightweight title. He's never had a chance on television to go for it. I've never seen him go for it yet. But he got the world title without even going through the British. Pretty unusual. And the famous Billy Robinson Jim uh, and the wrestling club in Failsworth, Manchester. Marty Jackie Robinson and Marty Chant, of course, started there. part-time pro for me because he's a joiner by trade he works as a joiner for the works for Manchester pretty busy life Tony Saint, one of the young men and he's been able to turn pro I think about 18 his ambition has always been wrestling for a world title the heavier weights, but it's never got heavier. They always stay on the 11 stone mark. Both men are on the 11 stone mark for this particular belt. Same height, height for eight and a half. Same weight, eight and a half. Just five seconds to go. Let's have a look at uh, Johnny Saint, the challenger. There he is. Johnny originally from Failsworth in Manchester area too. Two world title holders in Great Britain. Both coming from Manchester originally. Not bad. He was, of course, always influenced most by George Kidd. Seconds away, around three. Round three, six to go. Still no score. Champion Jordan in front. Tash and a lean back surfboard assault, but he hasn't got it right. Saint hasn't really got it right. Just a backbreaker. And challenger Johnny Saint lying flat on the canvas there, holding on to this backbreaker. Jordan gets his feet free. Goes for a double arm stretch now. And messed with that by a mile. Tony Saint waits for the double finger in the lock. Guess it. Oh, oh, he's 
know where it's coming from next. This is amazing. It really is marvelous to watch. And the photo over the side and the photo across. Nearly. Thanks. Paul and Mike Jordan had no idea where the next move was coming from. Then. Saying so quick. Paul Nelson. Jordan break this for Nelson. Not by going down, obviously. As he goes down fast on the dip. He's got a minute to make up his mind how he's going to do it. There it is, but it's back in it again. Same hole. Same just waits for him to get up. To retrieve the hole that he lost in the cover. for Phil Nelson all the time. But, this time Jordan has a chance. And there's a George Kidd trick if ever you saw one. Saint rolling himself over the ball. No limbs to go for it. Older grapple fans will remember that's one of George Kidd's specialities. Nothing that a point can do. Not a limb in sight to go for it. Just a few seconds now in round three. Ross Buddock, Jordan in charge of the other one. That's still no score. Nothing in between these two men at all. Saint producing most of the tricks, I think. Johnny Saint, because he is the more experienced of the two. But his opponent there, Mike Jordan, flash of the Flashy guards and fast moves in the ring. He's doing pretty well too. Seconds away, around four. Five rounds to go as you start the fourth. And still no sign of any score. A couple of attempts, but no real sign. Great find to Saint. Opposite arm David. Both Johnny Saints legs off the deck now, holding that great vine on. One arm only holding the uh, upside down lever. The right hand free at the moment, except to balance himself on his opponent's step. Switches now. Great right by the other way around. There's the leg behind the neck. Three and one. A three and one hold here. Same trying for a submission. And Jordan quickly counters. Chris Lever. Saint counters again. He's got it. He wins at the end. Oh, it's remarkable stuff. It's great to hear the appreciation of the crowd here to these beautiful moves. It really is. Jordan, 12 seconds to go. 
and the third time signature of this time, same waiting for him, Sonny Stepsis and Jordan Cleanout. Now, what sort of landings he had right on the end of the fourth. I think that tonight Jordan, pretty happy to hear that bell then. Seems to be a bit worried about the left knee. We landed outside. It's quite a long way now to the floor from that ring, you know. It's, even if they go through under the bottom rope. It's a long distance to the floor around the knee, and he's feeling it now. But that won't sound um, too much difference to his next four rounds, I'm sure. Second away, around five. Round five. Halfway through the box. No score. A few more attempts in that round four, but no successes. Cross press. Telling you the whole sink down from there. Over the top, over the shoulder press. says, give me the belt, because that's mine. Well, ladies and gentlemen, public warning against Jordan for that. The referee says, the referee says that Johnny is unable to continue the contest. It's a technical knockout. Therefore, the winner, still the champion, is Mike Lash Jordan. So despite the public warning, technical knockout win for Jordan. At the end of round five. What an extraordinary finish to a bout. Never seen anything like it. Question is, how badly is Johnny Saints' leg at the end of that little 
of four. A worried man there. He was doing so well too. He got the fall. He's one fall ahead. But a technical knockout. And, jo and Johnny says no chance of the belt today. But he'll have another one, that's for sure. Well, that's about it from Dewsbury Town Hall. We hope that you've enjoyed it. From all of us here, it's goodbye and have a good week. Until next week.